I want to talk about the first Civil War trailer has dropped. Now, if you were watching Jimmy Kimmel live, I believe, uh, last week, last Friday, you would have seen Chris Evans and uh, Robert Downey Jr. come out to unveil this trailer. And I got to admit, it was pretty epic. So, you know, it, it looks like we're getting a little bit of a different movie than I originally thought. Because when we originally see it, uh, you think they tell you what's kind of going on without really seeing anything and how it's involved. You kind of think that, okay, they're probably going to write off of the comics. You can see where the registration would come in. But it kind of took a little bit of a different view than I thought that we're going to. So the way it looks is that Bucky will be the central character to the the goings-on in Civil War. Now, if you don't know who Bucky was, this was uh, Captain America. If you remember all the way to back to the first movie, Bucky was the guy that he looked up to who was joining the military that... Steve Rogers wanted to join the military to follow and, you know, cause he was his best friend. Well, he did eventually ends up actually saving his life from a prison camp while Bucky was being experimented on. And then Bucky kind of faux dies in the first one. Well, then you have in the second one, it's called winter soldier. Well, guess who the winter soldier is? Yes, you are right. It is Bucky Barnes. And so he makes his reappearance there and, and you know, it's kind of shown that he's under brainwashing things. Cause if you don't know about what the winter soldier was supposed to be is after one of the incidents with captain America, he was taken by the Russians, he was experimented on, and he was pretty much made into a, an assassin that they pull in and out of cryosleep to keep him alive for a long amount of time. And so in Captain America 2, he was not the main nemesis, but he was one of the, uh, one of the thorns in Captain America's side. And then at the end of Captain America 2, it looks like he breaks said mind control and... Eh, you don't know if he's going to go good. You don't know if he's going to stay bad, but it looks like he's at least thinking for himself a little bit more now. Well, in the trailer, they kind of show, in the very beginning, they show Steve Rogers showing up, talking to Bucky Barnes, and Bucky saying, I'm not that guy anymore. I remember who you are now. I, I remember all these things. And it seems like everything's going to center around Captain America believes that Bucky should be given a second chance, or at least not in prison, be imprisoned and killed. And everybody else thinks that, no, he's a criminal. He should go um, to jail. And so it kind of seems like that this is what's going to be pushing forward the Registration Act. But it, this will be the catalyst, uh, which is an interesting take. I, I, I didn't think uh, in the comics, I, I believe Bucky was present during the Civil War, but he was not a main character during the Civil War by any meaning of the word. And the flashpoint was somebody uses their powers and blows up an entire neighborhood. And then the government's like, okay, we need to register these people. So... It's a little different take to take us to a similar destination, it seems like. Mm. But Bucky Barnes will be the vehicle that kind of takes us there rather than whatever else might have been. Because I think it was a mutant, actually. So that makes sense because Fox would be like, nah, mm -mm, nope, nope, no mutants for you. Those are ours. We're keeping them. Can't touch them. So. Yeah. And I thought that... Um... With how Avengers 2 went, they were going the route. Like, I think we talked about before that it seemed like they were going the route where Ultraman might be the real uh, catalyst behind um, more restrictions or more um, oversight because of uh, Iron Man kind of screwing up and making a thing to take everything out and turned out to turn evil. Um, so it, then that might still be the case. So this is still part of the aftermath that is yeah. things got set in motion and now they've decided to go on, on certain restrictions with, with other things that have come up. Yeah. Well, and it's weird too, because yeah, in Avengers two Ultron was created by Tony Stark and then Captain America's like quit creating stuff. And they even have one point where they're about to fight in Avengers two because he's creating another robot to fight this other robot. And Steve Rogers is like, no, you got to, you got to, you know, have some oversight on some things. So it's almost like they're flipping positions. It's kind of weird. And even in the trailer, there was one line where um, we're, we're the good guys. We need to live by limitations. Only the bad guys don't have to live by limitations. And Steve Rogers goes, well, I don't see it that way, you know. And so it is kind of weird that they're getting to this point. Um, but it does look like this will be what brings registration in. Now, we did see General Thunderbolt Ross. He will be in this movie, and it looks like he's going to be the, the military arm of spearheading this registration. So it's it's interesting. Where it looks like they're they're this is the backlash for Captain America trying to protect his old buddy is okay. Well, uh, now we need to rein you all in because you can't just ever feel like you can do whatever the heck you want to do. You have mm -hmm. to live within rules of everybody else. So it, it, it's kind of weird. And Tony Stark, the character. 
is a guy who doesn't like to live within the means of everyday people. He likes to just kind of do his own thing. So it's kind of weird how he got to this point where he's on the side, yes, you're right, we should put limitations in place. And Captain America is on the opposite. Now, if you're a comic book fan, this is where a lot of comic book fans had a lot of disagreements with the way Civil War went because they did. They changed up the way these characters acted for this series of events. And Tony Stark, instead of being the free-wielding guy who just does whatever he wants, he was like, okay, we need to clamp down and have more of a, a discipline. And then the disciplined guy in Captain America is like, nope, nope, we don't need to register. So that's that's kind of interesting how they'll, they'll be doing that. But I do think it's cool that they're bringing in Thunderbolt Ross. And that kind of makes me think that maybe we'll have something, maybe not a Hulk sighting, we're definitely going to hear about Hulk's next adventure in this some way, shape, or form. They're probably going to drop some hints uh, about what we have in store for us for Hulk next. And so that's kind of interesting. But they also kind of gave us a glimpse into what the teams will be like. So what I could tell from the trailer, what solid evidence I could tell from the trailer is the Team A, which we're going to call Team of Captain America, will be Captain America, Hawkeye, Falcon, Bucky, and the Scarlet Witch. Uh, those mm -hmm. will all be there. Now, I thought Black Widow was supposed to be on there, and everything I've read before this is Black Widow is solidly on Captain America's team. But in the trailer, they kind of made her ambiguous. Like, she has one scene where she's like, you shouldn't do the, be involved with this. You should leave this alone. Um, you don't want to mess with these people. And he goes, mm -hmm. well, what are you going to do, arrest me? You know, almost saying that maybe she's, she might be on his side, but she might be trying to play both sides. She is a super spy, so that makes sense. I, I did get the impression from her that she will be on Captain America's side, um, but it's kind of a tough call. She's she's not all in the same way Captain America's all in, at least mm -hmm. not initially, um, yeah. but it does seem like she has enough ties, uh, and, and Captain America's playing off it. She has enough ties to Captain America that she'll just, she'll go with him. She'll see his reasoning um, and, and stick by him because she's not going to want to arrest him or maybe she will yeah. initially or something like that and, but turn to his it, it, like i said ambiguous is kind of how they tried to yeah. leave the character and so that's interesting now on iron man's side i really only saw two people i'm guessing the american military <laughs> so that's a pretty big pretty big group right there will be on tony's side but it only looked like we had tony stark and war machine hmm that was about it on Tony's side. They did have one scene where all the other heroes are running at Tony Stark and War Machine are flying over. And so it looks like we'll see a pretty cool battle royale there. I am kind of surprised they didn't try to stack Tony's side any more than they did. But again, if it's they have the trailer. Whole American military on his, their side, then that's a pretty good evener. Yeah. Uh, it makes I, things a little more even. I, I think they're just going to, to wait to reveal more. Um, yeah. Well, either with another good. trailer or wait for the movie. Um, and we did have a Black Panther sighting in there. He did pop up in two quick scenes, two quick little frames it looked like. It seems like he'll be showing up during the battle, the big battle between Captain America's team and Iron Man's team because it looked like the only times they showed him was in the same setting as when they showed the the big, you know, the two teams charging at each other. I'm not so sure where T'Challa will fall with that. Uh, I can see Black Panther going either side. But uh, it's to be seen. I can't imagine he'd want to go against the American government because he is the leader of his own country. But you never know what will happen. It is a movie, so uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I do wonder um, whether we're getting an indication of where things are going, though, uh, with regards of how far-reaching this is going to be. Because we've talked before about how it, it, it at least seemed a little bit strange that they are condensing Civil War such a big event as Civil War into or starting it off in a Captain America uh, rather than an Avengers movie. Well, instance, yeah. No, even I don't, though it makes it some makes sense, sense Captain America is such a focal character. Yeah, it, it kind of makes sense because that is one of yeah. the, one half of the equation. Yeah. And they just want to throw these storylines in there. They don't really care which movie <laughs> they're in. I mean, you see the way we were talking about Thor and Hulk are going to be in Thor 3. So they're just trying to throw as many characters together as they can. But, but I'm also thinking along the lines of... Um, with that and the fact that we haven't seen a lot of um, other heroes on the uh, on Iron Man's side, maybe they they are trying to acknowledge Civil War, make a big thing out of Civil War because people are expecting Civil War, but they don't want to drag as many heroes in. 
um, just so that they don't have to ruin as many characters because they know that people are not that the the popular image is not going to be on Iron Man's side. Iron Man is de facto the villain here, mm-hmm. from all I can see. Yeah. So they don't necessarily want to to drag in too many of their big heroes and present them as villains in this. Even though you can do cool things, I think for a movie setting, they'd rather keep them out of that as much as possible and keep them for their own movies as much as possible without having their uh, image tarnished by being on Iron Man's side here. I mean, they've already yeah. gone through enough movies with Iron Man, so it's like, okay, whatever, and we have to make Iron Man the bad guy here. But um, so, it, 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 it will be interesting to see the way it pans out. Now, the only thing I think they really left out of this trailer was uh, Spider-Man. So, kind of annoying, because he's supposed to be here. He's supposed to be here, but I thought he was going to be a, more of a cameo scene. In Which this. is like, very possible. He's going to be here, but so you wouldn't expect him to necessarily be in the trailer. Um, unless you were trying to give a false impression of the movie and emphasize Yeah, it would be nice to just show him. Just a quick quick peek. See what's up. You just Spider-Man. want to see Spider-Man in general. You see just, what his new suit looks like. See, I, I just want to see how it's, it's going to be. But That's the real reason you want to see this movie. Just to see what's happening with Spider-Man. You're like, oh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man in the Spider-Man. Marvel Universe. But hit us up, let us know what you think. Did you enjoy the trailer? Do you think this will lead to a good movie? Or do you think this uh, is going down the wrong path? Hit us up down comments down below. Of course, at What's My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways to get more.